As per question number 26, a plane progressive wave is traveling along negative x direction. Displacement of particles from their mean positions at a given instant is as shown in figure. Choose the incorrect alternative. First option, particle located at E has an acceleration in negative y direction. Particle at B has maximum speed. Particle at D has velocity in negative y direction. And fourth, particle located at A has zero velocity. Dear students, let us try to analyze each option by itself. First option says that the particle located at E has an acceleration in the negative y direction. Now, this is the particle that it is being talked about. We can see that the displacement of the particle is in upward direction and the acceleration therefore should be in downward direction as the acceleration would be opposite to the displacement from the mean position. Therefore, statement 1 is correct and cannot be our answer as we have to choose the incorrect alternative. Now option 2 says that the particle at B has maximum speed. Dear students, the particle at B is at the mean position and the particle at mean positions have maximum speeds indeed which makes the statement 2 as the correct statement as well and therefore it cannot be our answer. Statement 3 says that the particle at D has velocity in negative y direction. To find out the velocity, let us draw the shape of the wave after a certain time period since this wave is moving leftwards therefore after a certain time the wave will look somewhat like this the students we can see that the particle at d will actually move upward and hence option number three is an incorrect statement and has to be our answer you can always check option number four as well that the particle located at a has zero velocity this is also incorrect dear students because the particle located initially here that is A will actually move downwards and reach here. Therefore for question number 26 option number 3 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number 27. Question 27 says two identical piano wires having fundamental frequencies of 400 hertz when kept under same tension. What fractional increase in the tension of one wire will lead to occurrence of 4 beats per second when both the wires vibrate simultaneously. Dear students, frequency in fundamental mode can be written as 1 by 2L under root T by mu or 1 by 2L under root T by rho into A where A is the area of cross section. We can see that delta F by F would be equal to half delta T by T. This is from the concepts of error analysis. Now for 4 bits, delta F should be 4. So 4 by 400 should be equal to 1 by 2 into delta t by t which means delta t by t should be equal to 0 0.02 therefore a fractional increase of 0 0.02 is required which makes option number one as the correct answer now let us proceed to question number 28 question 28 says if c naught and c denote the speed of sound in gas and rm speed of molecules respectively in a polyatomic gas having lambda is equal to 4 by 3 then dear students Herein, this is the area vary coefficient that is Cp by Cv. Now, the speed of sound will be equal to under root gamma Rt by m and the RMS speed will be equal to under root of 3 Rt by m. The student the speed of sound is given as C0 and the RMS speed has been given as C. We can see that C0 by C is equal to under root gamma by 3 which will be equal to 4 by 3 by 3 under root. This will be equal to 2 by 3. Dear student, this means that C0 will be equal to C into 2 by 3 and therefore option number 4 for this question is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number 29. Question 29 says an engine approaches a wall with a constant speed when it is at a distance of 2 kilometers blows a whistle whose echo is heard by the driver of engine after 10 seconds. If speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second, the speed of engine will be. Dear students, in 10 seconds, the sound travels a distance of 330 into 10, that is 3300 meters. Since the to and fro journey has a total distance of 4000 meters, therefore, the remaining distance is 4000 minus 3300 which will be equal to 700 meters. 
Therefore, dear students, in 10 seconds, the car has traveled 700 meters, which means that the speed of car would be equal to 700 by 10, that will be 70 meters per second. Therefore, option number 1 is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 30. Question number 30 says the incorrect statement in the following regarding to stationary wave is first, the phase difference between the particle in the same loops is 0. Second, the phase difference between the particles in successive loops is pi. Third, at node the strain is 0. Or fourth, all the particles except at nodes vibrate with different amplitude but same frequency as that of component wave. Dear students, in stationary waves, at the nodes the strain is maximum. Which means that the statement 3 as in option number 3 is an incorrect statement and therefore option number 3 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number 31. 